Heather, why will you be asking people to vote no for this one? Yeah, I think this is a real slap in the face to carers around the country. You know, care has never been as devalued as it is at the moment. You know, we know that childcare units are, are closing on a weekly basis, nursing homes are, are closing on a monthly basis. You know, children in state care are going missing at the moment. And here we have a particular government amendment, which is a watering down of what the Citizens' Assembly stated, that the state should have an obligation to help people who care and are in need of care. This is a watering down of that. It, it basically states that care exists only within the home and the responsibility is between the people within the home. And, you know, we know, everybody knows in their lives, people who are struggling to get home care help, to get, you know, uh, step-down facilities or nursing care facilities. I would know a family, for example, mm -hmm. who have had to basically refuse to take a loved one home from the hospital because they can't care for the person alone uh, until they get uh, home care help. And here the government is basically saying this is the family's responsibilities and we're taking no responsibility uh, for it either. Yeah. And I think that's Heather, enormously sorry, just damaging. Cut, sorry to cut across you. Is your issue with strive to support? Is your issue with the wording of that? And also, as you said, some carers believe that the amendment categorises care as something, as you said, there within the family and then that the state have, will have less onus. Is, is that the issue you have? Yeah. The, the, uh, the state is insulating itself from any responsibility to actually provide care for people in need. Hundreds of thousands of people are providing care in this country, most of them unrecognised and unpaid for. Many people are struggling with emails and phone calls to TDs and departments trying to get a no, uh, just a couple of hours to help with a, a person that, that they love, a person with a disability, a person with Alzheimer's in their mm -hmm. family. And this is basically you know, a hollow husk of an amendment. It means nothing. There is no material rights that a person can, be, can exercise for their loved ones here. And, you know, it, it just shocks me because the governments, you know, often state that they believe that a woman's place is whatever the, uh, she wants it to be. And I wholeheartedly agree with that 100%. But well, the reality of people's lives is so many, so many mothers and fathers are actually struggling, mm -hmm. getting up early in the morning, dropping their kids off at care, you know, uh, commuting an hour and a half to work, uh, working a nine-hour day, mm -hmm. coming back uh, and doing it all in reverse. They're hardly getting to spend time with their children at all. And this offers them nothing. It actually reduces mm -hmm. any responsibility that the state has to provide uh, support for those uh, parents. No.